This is the Intel AX210 Wi-Fi chip. It comes in a plastic bag with no screw and no screwdriver. This is an M.2 form factor Wi-Fi card that supports both key A and key E type connectors. It uses the PCI Express interface to communicate with the motherboard. The chip is Wi-Fi 6E certified, so it supports band 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz. If you want to use the 6 GHz band, make sure that you have a router that supports that band. This chip also supports Bluetooth version 5.3. As far as operating systems, it supports Windows 10 64-bit and Windows 11 64-bit. Before you remove your old Wi-Fi card to install it, you want to go to the Intel website and download the Wi-Fi drivers and the Bluetooth drivers. Here are the Bluetooth drivers. Here are the Wi-Fi drivers. My laptop is turned off and I open the bottom cover. Here is my Wi-Fi chip. Take a picture of the Wi-Fi cable order so you know how to reinstall them. Lift up from here. Use a Phillips head precision screwdriver to remove the screw. Lift the card out at an angle. Insert the new card at an angle. Insert the screw. These antenna connectors are a little bit tricky. I use my tweezers to guide it on as flat as possible and press down with a plastic tool or your nail. It needs to be flat when secured. Install the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers. It's ready to connect to your Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi card works great. I have no issues with it. As long as you have a motherboard with an M.2 key A or key E, and your motherboard supports the PCI Express interface, this card can be installed on both AMD and Intel CPU laptops. I actually upgraded from an AX200 to this AX210, and I noticed an improvement in upload and download speeds of about 10 to 20%. If you are looking to upgrade your Wi-Fi card, Check this one out.